Hello and welcome to my channel. It is March 8th, 2021. And we got to talk about Joe Biden and a failure of the president he will be. Now, he is riding on the coattails of Trump when it comes to the coronavirus. So pretty much we have to wait until maybe July, June time frame. Anything past that, it's all going to be um, Biden's plan. But everything that uh, is happening now is thanks to President Trump, number 45, when it comes to coronavirus. However, however, he is becoming a failure when it comes to immigration. The White House says it must work more to discourage illegal migrants coming to U.S. That is right. Thousands of illegal immigrants are being set free across the country as a crisis of the southern border escalates. And the White House admitted Monday it isn't doing enough to discourage people from seeking unlawful entry of the United States. You mean Trump is doing something correct? <laughs> Don't you say. Speaking to a reporter during a press briefing, White House Press Secretary Jane Foskey acknowledged that the failures after being pressured about the administration handling of the situation. I would say it's clear that we need to work more on getting the message out and being very clear now is not the time to come. It is never time to come, in my opinion, <laughs> said Foskey before reiterating that Biden's administration claimed that the majority of people who come to the border are turned away. Turned away. How about uh, let them know that America is not open? Kind of like how Trump's message was. Yes, we have changed policies at the last administration. It relates to unaccompanied children, but the majority of the family, adults, and vast majority are turned away at the border and that is a message that clearly needs to continue to look for the means and ways out, getting out, you know, more about the region. She continued, yes, uh, herds and herds of immigration or immigrants or migrants are coming to American border since they pretty much killed the stay in Mexico policy, I think. Unfortunately, illegal immigration is never going away because people come here on visas and overstay once their visa looks expired, and that's an entirely different issue altogether. And most of those tend to be Middle Eastern and other Asian countries. But however, it gets even worse. He is... It gets even worse. I mean, but a hundred... An eight migrant released in the past month in Bransfield tested positive for COVID-19, according to Rep. Henry Seller. Those are family traveling, traveling with young children who were detained by the Border Patrol but released into Texas because Mexico won't take them back. Yeah, you see, Mexico has this great policy. Once America takes those people out of their country... They actually have a strong immigration policy that pretty much says no take back. So once they cross the border, they're our problem now. Now, if they say stayed in Mexico or just not come, it wouldn't be our problem. But now that they're here, they become our problem because Joe Biden is a spineless hack that wants to undo everything Trump did. did just for the sake of undoing what Trump has done. Now, while a nonprofit organization offer hotel rooms to those who tested positive for coronavirus to quarantine, the city of Bransfield can't stop those families from traveling elsewhere. They are issued papers by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security that allows them to travel north of the checkpoint, said Sandra Sanchez. A journalist with the or a journalist with the border report it is unclear how many people have actually gotten onto public transportation, given that they are infected with the disease to kill all mankind. 
COVID-19. Seller says Biden has a responsibility to ensure that migrants arriving in, te in Texas are tested for the coronavirus. Once they're dropped off at the bus station, we'll provide this map and they are dropped off in every part of the United States, he said. CNN reported that the Department of Homeland Security plan of using emergency funds to support efforts to test migrants in the Border Patrol custody, but according to the network sources, Texas has not approved the grant. Abbott responded in a statement shortly after the report, saying it's the federal government's responsibility to test and quarantine migrants. We will not aid a program that makes our country a magnet for illegal immigration, Abbott says. My statement about the Biden administration assimilating COVID possible illegal immigration in the state across the country. It's unconceivable act by Biden's administration releasing COVID positive illegal immigration in our state put the lives of Texans and Americans at risk. Border security is strictly a federal responsibility. The federal government alone has the responsibility to test, screen, and quarantine illegal immigration or immigrants crossing our border who may have COVID. Instead of doing their job, the Biden administration suggests it did not have the sufficient resources and remarkably asked Texas to assist them in aiding their illegal immigration problem. Texas refused. We will not aid a program that makes our country a magnet for illegal immigration. You know, if you continue working on the border wall to prevent people from actually crossing willy-nilly, which focus them to go onto a multiple points of entry where you can better secure it, where you can have better control, and then you also keep the policy that Trump put in place that Mexico is a place that they must stay if they're requesting asylum. Because, you know, Mexico is a sovereign government and is considered a safe country, according to the reports that were given to us. Yeah, they're trying to have their cake and eat it too. So either Mexico is a failed state and it's a very dangerous state and we should actually secure our border against that or 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 they are a safe country and they should all the illegal immigration should be blessed to be in such a great country. It's either one or the other. You don't get to pick, pick and choose depending on which president is in charge of the United States. So that is my little rant on the news and how Biden's immigration policy is failing Texas, more importantly, failing the United States. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are. Smash and the like and subscribe button on all platforms. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.